This is problem number one from section 3.2. In this problem they say, using the definition, calculate the derivative of the function, then find the values of the derivative as specified. So we're gonna use the definition. The definition for the derivative is that uh, we're gonna say dy over dx is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So we're gonna take the function, we're gonna plug in x plus h like we've done in, in previous sections. Uh, we're gonna try and get rid of this h in the bottom and what we end up with, that's what's uh, the derivative of this function. And dy over dx is just a way to write the derivative. The other way you can write it is uh, y prime or in our case, f prime, which is what the, the notation that they're using there. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And we're gonna say that that's equal to the limit as h approaches zero, plug in x plus h. So we have seven minus x plus h squared minus the original function, which is seven minus x squared all over h. Now at the top here, we're gonna take x plus h and we're gonna square it, so it's multiplied times itself. That gives you x squared plus xh times xh, which is 2xh plus h times h, which is h squared. And we're gonna plug this in here uh, in replace of x plus h squared. So we're gonna get limit as h approaches zero 7 minus x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 7, when you distribute the negative, plus x squared all over h. So that's going to give you limit as h approaches 0, 7 minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared minus seven plus x squared all over h. The x squared cancels with the negative x squared. The negative seven and the seven cancel. So we're left with just negative two x h minus h squared. So that's limit as h approaches zero of negative two x h minus h squared all over h. Now we're gonna factor out an h here. So this is limit as h approaches zero of h negative two x minus h inside parentheses over h. The h's cancel. And so now when I take the limit as h approaches zero for negative two x minus h, the h cancels and I'm left with negative two x. So this is the derivative uh, for the function seven minus x squared. So we're gonna say that uh, dy over dx equals negative two x. And we're gonna also label that f prime of x just because that's the, uh, we said that that's a different notation for saying the derivative. And then we're gonna find out f prime of negative six when we plug negative six in, we get negative two times negative six, which is 12. So that means the slope at x equal negative six is 12. Let's do f prime of zero. Negative two times zero is zero. So the slope is zero at x equals zero. And then f prime of one, negative two times one, that's negative two. So the slope's negative two at x equal one. 